Good morning. So I've just received the German aircraft carrier Graf Zeppelin from MJR Hobbies. Um, I saw this one when I was out in a shop in Spain and I absolutely loved it so I just purchased it. Um, MJR offered me the price of £80, it's 1 to, to 3.50 scale. Uh, looks like a good deal so far. You can see the box art, um, absolutely beautiful, very atmospheric. First note that I have seen is that the translation on the side is dodgy to say the least. Um, parts of it I really don't know actually what they're trying to say. Does it matter? I know the story of the ship so I'm quite happy with it. Very basic markings here on the side. Also comes with, by the looks of things, some photo etch in here as well. That's going to be fun. I've never done photo etch before. Right. On the other side. See we have the camouflage details. Along with, it obviously comes with some of the planes. That's going to be, that's going to be lovely. Um, it's going to be really nice to actually have a display on it. So, let's get into this beast. First opinions. That's big. So, first thing we have, we have the hulls. Two separate pieces. Looking very nice, very nice detailed. Lots of portholes. Okay. Going beneath. We then have what I would assume is the top deck. I would assume. Honestly, not very sure on that one, but it looks like the top deck. Then have a nice divider. Obviously, just to help keep everything nice and safe. It's nice. I've got to add, this is the first trumpeter kit I've ever had, so um, I'm not sure what I'm expecting. Padding. Okay. And I thought 1 to 70 seconds scale was small. Okay, so here we have the AR-193s. We have... What's this one? The Feislers. It's looking like you're getting three of each. By the looks of things, allowing a very nice little display. Well, I don't even need to see the name on that one. The gull wings is obvious. There's your Stukas. That'll be nice. And your 109s. Detail on these are fantastic. You can see wheelbase in there, it's got panel lines, it's got rudders, it's even got oil tanks. On the side you've got exhaust pipes, you've got more ribbing, gun bays. Detailing on this is absolutely sensational. The only thing I will say is that thank god it's not giving me a small uh, clear canopy to put on these things but that is lovely that's going to be so hard to do though okay moving on we have 
radar or range finding equipment, I would think. Not a clue. Says on it 1 to 350 Eugen. I'm sure when I actually get around to reading the instructions, I'll understand what that is. I do things a little bit of a weird way. I enjoy everything in the box and then I go to the instructions. That looks like one of the side panels. Again, the detailing on this is absolutely beautiful. I'm really, really happy with everything I'm seeing so far, and it's all in perfect nick, which is quite impressive given Royal Mail. Detailing. So we've got obviously lifeboats, guns, larger guns. Just looks like more range finding and more guns again. Again, the detailing on the, on the lifeboats here is fantastic. It's got a small life ring on the top. Lovely. Find out what this is. Very well protected, anyway. Ah. So another smaller lifeboat. Uh, and just general general detailing. Looks like the signal lamps there. And the propellers. Very clean, um, and as you would expect from a kit these days, there's hardly any flash. I don't think I've seen any so far. Definitely making me very, very excited to start this kit. Trump to wrapped it up in this protective, so I think I should keep it there. The bow and the stern pieces, obviously your funnels, or smokestacks I should say. Such a large piece like this obviously, there's not much detailing going on on the larger sections but I'm not sure I would expect any. And again, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful kit so far. Everything I've seen is making me excited. No prizes for guessing what that is then. That'll be your top deck. See your wires at the back there. News to stop. Stop the planes as they came in. Photo Edge, Joys, I absolutely love Photo Edge. Now we're going to get into all these Photo Edge parts. So these are for the planes, these are extra Photo Edge for the planes. So I've got for the Feistlers, I've got for the Arados. These previous ones I showed you were, th were for the Stukas. Doesn't appear like there's any for the 109s. And lots of photo etch for 
the actual graph zeppelin so you can see you've obviously got railings you've got ladders more railings looking very very nice that's an awful lot of railings but i you know it's a big kit doesn't surprise me then have a chain what would appear in my opinion to possibly be the anchor chain i'm not sure lovely detailing on this part and what i would assume is a stand that's going to keep the other half happy as I don't need to spend time actually constructing a stand. What's that? Hidden little Feisler. Okay. Oh. Before we get onto the instructions, more photo arch. There's like more ladders. This is going to be fun. And more Arado photo etch. Crikey, the Arados are getting an awful lot of photo edge. There's more. With your graph set and more railings. Considering I'm not a huge fan of photo edge anyway, this is going to be a huge amount of fun. Ah, here we go. We have the decals. Uh, let me just open these, see what quality we're looking at. I would expect with Trumpeter that we're going to be looking at very, very good quality. I would hope so anyway. Yeah. They're going to be nice sellotaped on. So, give me a second. Okay. Yeah. Lovely looking decals. Um I actually really quite like what they've done with the flags, obviously to allow them to sell to Germany, they're not allowed to actually put the swastika. Um, and so what they've done here, they've just simply left the outsides of it. And I'm not sure if these number sevens are simply to go in the centre here to mark it up and actually allow you to make as a, a swastika if you would like debatable point in my opinion I always think that it looks much better with a swastika and it's a part of history we should stop hiding from it this is looking like for all of your aircraft just gonna be that's an awful lot there's an awful lot of you know, Luftwaffe symbols but overall very very good quality again So, we have the instructions. Normal bump about everything, how to apply decals and whatnot. First thing that we have is we have this lovely, lovely color guide of the card schemes. Um, very nice it gives you all the different colors from the different brands that you should be using so you've got mr hobby 
Vallejo, Motomaster, Tamiya and Humbro. And over here again. That's very handy. It saves a saves a saves buying these conversion charts or the conversion apps on your phone nowadays. It actually tells you what you need. Absolutely beautiful color diagram of what it's meant to look like, which is gonna be very handy. Um whether I'm actually going to stick to this or whether I'm going to do my own little variation of it, I don't know yet. We'll see. Markings on your planes. All the way down here. Um, and again, I was correct on the, uh, on the plane markings. Looking like it's a beautiful piece of kit. Other side's just blank, so now we can pop that away. First thing that we have, we have all the parts. How many parts there are in here? There are 850 parts. Seems to be quite nice and clear so far for what you're doing it's, yeah it's looking, looking all very standard so nice and clear at the moment and not rushing that's why I'm holding basically like a Small encyclopedia here. It's, yeah, nice and detailed and should be very, very easy to follow. Um, even here where it's telling you photo etch and what part, so you actually know what what's photo etch and what's plastic. It's going to be very handy later on, especially for someone like myself. Um, it's looking very nice and crystal clear, as I as I've said on numerous occasions. But I think I'm going to have no problem following this. Looking at the detail up here, particularly with the photo etch. Um, I think this is definitely looking out, this is going to be a display piece, especially once you get the planes on, on the stern of our ready to launch. Uh, there we go, and yeah I was correct in it being a stand there as well. So interesting piece of kit. So that's, that's my unboxing model. Um, very very happy with it uh, I think it's it's not gonna be one I want to rush it's gonna take me a very long time to do which isn't gonna keep the other half happy but beautiful absolutely beautiful kit let's get going on it <laughs> 